YouTube, what's good? It's your boy. Alright, welcome back. We're about back with another reaction video. I'm back to reacting to one of my OG reaction styles. Right? I remember when Yo Yo didn't even touch on it yet. I was reacting to Yo Yo shit from when, and I was inside one of his old videos. I was reacting to his shit before this nigga touched a hundred k for sure. Now this nigga at one million. Now nah, respect it, Yo Yo, for sure. Um. Damn, that made me feel like I just fucking slacking. But it is what it is. I'm happy for him and back to reacting to his shit. Yeah. If you guys do the channel, smash that like button, subscribe. Let's get into it. This story is about how I got fired from my first ever job. And it set the precedent for the rest of my Okay, pause. I'm ready for the pause. I swear. Yo, yo. <laughs> you, <laughs> how many jobs have you been fired from? I swear. This man has been fired from at least four, four jobs. The fact that this nigga still getting fired is crazy. In my life, because I have literally been fired from every job. This is what I'm saying. Listen, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Nigga, you need to build an office at the unemployment line because how the fuck you being fired at everywhere? Okay, I don't even think that they're the problem anymore. It might be you, my boy. Not that I'm a bad employee. It's just that sometimes I really don't be locked in. The thing is, the way my brain works is something either 100% has my attention or it doesn't have it at all. Like I'm either putting your fries in the bag with maximum efficiency or doing this. How's my form? How's my how's my form, bro? Shoot, I feel okay. Oh, I unlocked it on Twitch as well. Not subscribed. I ain't gonna lie, and I ain't got it like that. What I'm saying is I either have really good days or really, really not good days. And you can't have bad days when you're working minimum wage because I don't know what it is with corporations, but it seems like the less they pay you, the more they expect from you. Like a cop could literally drop the hard ER and Swiss cheese, the wrong suspect, and get put on administrative leave. A TV show writer could- Because they're unionized, so yeah. Literally have a seven episode docu-series of him frosting underage cakes, cupcakes, if you will, and he would still be able to get a job. But let a cashier scan someone's groceries and not smile the whole time. <laughs> That's the job right there. They're fired. Like if a Chick-fil-A manager catches their minimum wage employee not saying my pleasure, they are getting hit with a freaking hollow purple, bro. They're done. I say all of that to say I was a great employee. <laughs> I just made a couple of mistakes. And with minimum wage jobs, all that's all it takes to get fired. Yeah, that, you can't don't give a fuck. I don't say you can't don't give a fuck. I've told the story before, but those videos were mad old and rushed, and I just feel like I'm a better storyteller slash animator now. And there's a lot of details that I left out for the sake of posting weekly. So I'm gonna spin back on this topic and give you a complete start to finish video of how this story actually went down now i grew up with a smart mother sumo cum laude or whatever the fuck and she has a master's degree in whatever the fuck but she's smart okay she's an accountant but not a regular accountant she's like a higher up she has authority you know like Big people money. on her level play golf and have sugar babies that's th that's the tier of success that my mother is in and she got awesome real shit though i don't get that level of success i want to get to love and success where I play golf. I have no fucking interest in golf. But I think that's some level I want to get to. Like, I'm like, hey guys, I'm going golfing. No, no. I want to get to the jokes where I laugh at white people jokes. I like, I don't know if it's just me or me being low-key racist. I don't find white people funny. I don't know what it is. It's just maybe the sense of humor is just... There's very few white people that make me laugh. I don't know, but this one gets to the point where I actually laugh at white people joke. So I was like, I'll do like a fake, ha ha ha, that shit fake as hell, but it's not a real laugh. Got there by being smart. So growing up, my mom made it abundantly clear how important school and college was. And she proved it, I ain't gonna lie, because I tested the fuck out of her. See, I was an accident. My mom was 21 <laughs> in college <laughs> with goals and aspirations, and <laughs> then my dumb you ass fucked popped it up. up. <laughs> Not only did I pop up, but I was born a month early. She was in labor for like 24 hours, and I was a C-section. And I just had a fat head, bro. I was just an L altogether, bro. If my son does to my future wife what I did to my mom, I might take him and Euro step him into the trash can, bro. I might hit a goddamn windmill dunk into that bitch. I was the literal definition of an inconvenience. My mom dead ass had to drop out of college to take care of me, but you know what she did right after? She Thank you, mama, for that nine months you carry me. 
to all our pain and suffering. And that's why moms are the best. You know, shout out to all the moms around the world. You know, big up on ourselves. Mm-hmm. Beautiful black queen. Love you. Went back to college, got her master's, and graduated like at the top of her class like a as a single gangster. mother of four with a daughter who had. A four? <laughs> Yeah, mama been doing a lot of fucking yo-yo. <laughs> four is crazy. Now, nah, one eye. But four? Nah. Auntie, Auntie wasn't playing. And heart but disease, shut up bro. The, she is the literal wait, death and huh? mother of four with a daughter who had heart disease, bro. Uh, she is the literal definition of a strong, independent black woman. Like, me and my mom have had our beefs in the past, but her resolve is unwavering, and I genuinely aspire to have a fraction of the work ethic. Why the fuck is... <laughs> this is really so confusing. Why the fuck is all this Krispy Kreme the glazed donuts? What, are you trying to say you're glazing? Nah, fuck that. That's your mama, nigga. Show you if you don't love them, who else would? And I was about to say something. Um, <laughs> hold on. He said something. Let me go back to But her resolve is unwavering. Strong, independent black woman. Let me and my oh, mom have had our. I remember that. I don't like independent woman. Be fucking dependent. Depend on me. I don't like independent woman. Because independent woman. I ain't trying to hear all that shit. Beefs in the past, but her resolve is unwavering, and I genuinely aspire to have a fraction of the work ethic that she has. I'm telling you all this to illustrate, once again, how important college is to my mother and how much of her success story I witnessed firsthand. So growing up in my head with the mother that I had, I, I knew I was going to college. And to be honest, the thought of going excited me. If you ask child me what he thought he was going to be doing in the future, it was definitely going to be some type of office job. I wanted to be a teacher until I realized they get paid in pennies. I wanted to be a graphic designer, but then I realized they get paid in Instagram shout outs. But then I finally decided what I wanted to be and it was an architect, which made sense because you know, I grew up drawing and the concept of designing buildings seemed interesting to me. And shoot, I'd get to do something that involves math just like my mother. And so I was headed into my senior year of high school with a genuine idea of what I wanted to do. And it was all looking good until I realized Math is actually ass, bro. Like, my brain genuinely cannot yeah. understand it. Oh, divided nine. Four. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What? Understand it. Oh, divided nine. <laughs> Shit. Oh man, I was expecting three, maybe five. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh man. Gosh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. All right. <laughs> six or six is uh, 24? One. <laughs> no, no, you fuck with me. What? Sixty-five minutes is twenty-four. Is that same fucking what? No. What the ass? Oh shit. Oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> oh shit. I am actually crying. This nigga say six divided by six is four. Are you, no, no, I really no. Why you think? What the number? I don't even know. Would you say twenty something? Hold up. Six or six is uh, twenty four. Why? What the fuck you doing? <laughs> what is that? What? <sighs> <laughs> six times six is not even 24. So, what is what, what you got? Six from six is not 24. Six plus six is not 24. 
Oh gosh, six times six is not 24. Six divided by six is definitely not 24. So please show me where you got 24. Oh shit. <laughs> Anything by six from six added six, six upside down is not 24. I promise you. Oh my gosh. Why? Bro, the United States dodged a bullet when I decided to not be an architect, bro. If I designed a building with my knowledge of math, it, it would be tricky. I'd mess around and design a building with the structural integrity of a card house. You wouldn't even need to hijack a plane to knock my junk down. A Toyota Camry would have been more than enough. Anyways, so after struggling in math, it was hard for me because I didn't want to disappoint my extremely accomplished mom. But that's just what ended up happening. I, I couldn't get it. I could not understand what I wanted to do with my life. And eventually it led to me not wanting to go to college and i was just in this weird limbo not knowing what i wanted to do that was until i found a channel by the name of young don the sauce guy i saw him making animations and hey. I it funny. now it just started with me just watching bro but one day he decided to drop a q a and he stated the reason that he even started youtube was because he saw another youtuber by the name of the odd ones out making animations and he thought to himself eh, i could do that and that made me go eh. I could do that. So I grabbed my mouse, my old lap. I watched Flight and I was like, yeah, I could do that. So far, I'm not Flight. The top and I realized, yeah, I can't do that. Animation is hard, specifically because I didn't have a drawing tablet and my laptop crashed more than a YN with an infinity stone and a whippet addiction. But I was too broke to do anything to change it. I needed ah. bread. So the search for a job commenced. I found myself working at a local grocery store. But oh, little shit. did they know. When they decided to hire this wide-eyed, hard-working, ambitious animator, they would have hired the most incredible, competent, no, competent, no. the most incompetent person to ever wear one of their uniforms. And the first person to find this information out was my manager, La Rosa. Now, I'm I can go on a lie. whole tangent explain. Sorry, this might be crazy and unnecessary. I love how Yo-Yo elevated his um his his channel i respect it as i respect that like you can see like this nigga is putting i don't say time he elevated he got he elevated basically and just how disrespectful vicious and just straight up evil this woman was but i don't need to i only need three words to convey her personality and i promise you'll get it <clears throat> Short, bitter, and old. Anyone who has dealt with someone who has those three traits already knows the type of person La Rosa was, bro. And you know just how toxic it can get. But if you're thinking to yourself, man, he tweaking that shit, man. He won't eat that bad for him. one. You have a nuclear family and a trust fund. Stop talking like that. Two, I'm going to add another trade up there just to seal the deal. Racist, bro. La Rosa was racist as hell. Openly, by the way. One of my early impressions of her was this. So when I decided to get a job. I ain't going to lie. I respect them more. I don't know what it is about it. I, I don't know. I just respect an open racist. I don't mean like. like all right. You know like how our grand. I don't know about y'all. I'm from the, I'm the Caribbean. It's like our, our grandparents are racist but it's not even like a racist like ah, i hate you they, they would ask a question like why are you gay wait what <laughs> why would you ask somebody like why are you so black you know it just so it's just just a little tench of of racism just a little tench of prejudice just a little tench of homophobia but it's not even a homophobia like oh i hate you it's like i'm interested but they don't know how to ask. This is that no cut, no filter type shit. I like it. But I don't like it. The part was like, nigger. And just walked off. Now that's crazy. I gotta fight you. I have to pursue YouTube. Once again, I knew I wasn't going to college. And obviously, my mother did not approve. So I got kicked out. And it was it was a whole thing. I can make a video about that by itself. But when I got kicked out, I ended up moving in with a high school friend of mine, Jake. Him and his family were all pitching in to get a new apartment. And he told his mom about my situation. And if I paid rent, I'm gonna ignore they would let me stay with them. So it was me, Jake his mom, his sister, and his younger brother. And during that time, I actually ended up putting Jake on to the grocery store that I worked at. He got an interview, he got hired, and we both ended up working together. Fast forward, me and Jake get sick, and because of that, we had to call off. So Jake goes first, he calls, and this is 
hear exactly how the calls went. Hey, LaRosa, this is Jake. What's up, Jake? Yeah, I, I got sick. I need to call off. Oh, no. Are, are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I just don't want to get anyone sick. Okay, sounds good. Thanks for letting me know. Hope you feel better, okay? Of course. Bye. I then take the phone. Hey, LaRosa, this is Yo-Yo. Hey, Yo-Yo. Yeah, I just got sick and I need to call in. It's 2 p.m. Why would you wait until now to call? Yeah, I'll be fine. Wait, what? You can't just call off right before a shit. I'm sorry, it snuck up on me. I didn't know I was sick. You know this is going to be a write-up, right? Yes. All right. Now, me and Jake both had a 5 p.m. shift that day, and we both called off three hours early, but LaRosa specifically chose to mess with me, and I deadass ended up getting a write-up over that. Hey, guess who didn't? Jake. And it was then that I knew that LaRosa was not finna be an ally, bro. She was Hispanic along with Jake and his family, and she was not discreet in how differently she tolerated us, bro. Some of my his She's Hispanic? Listen, let me tell you something, right? I don't know what it is, but Hispanic, right? Like, okay, my experience like going coming into the United States. I swear, I don't know what it is about a Hispanic immigration officer. But I swear to God, y'all need to put more. If y'all scared of the borders getting injured, put more of them on the border injury. Because they are the most prejudiced. They are, bro. Dibbit, why are you here? Why are you coming here? Why, why, why do you want to come here? It's like, they'd be the most difficult people here. I mean, people there. Right? And then, the motherfucker from North Dakota, Nebraska... Who just a full blown white American? Hey, how you doing? What you here for? What, 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 uh, business or travel? I mean, uh, business or leisure? Uh, leisure. Oh, okay. What's the plans? Oh, going here. Oh, what's that? Sir? Okay, you should probably check out. Yeah, enjoy. He ain't asked me when I leave in the country who I coming to. This motherfucker, the the Hispanic. The one who's not too long, the one, I, I love sir, but let me stop talking like this before I can go back to the U.S. But no, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk my shit. Now, let's be like, why are y'all so difficult? Oh, why are you here? Uh, vacation? Who are you coming to? My girlfriend? Oh, where's she from? Is she American? Um, yeah. How long are you staying for? When are you leaving? How much money do you have? What is your for? God damn it, bro. I get it. You want me out your country at a certain time? I have a return ticket. What's up? Don't, 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 yeah. But, hey, that's just my experience, personally. Them dudes is rude. Them, them Hispanics, they just write you hard. And then they, with all due respect, they grandma or their mommy fresh off of the Cuban boat. They, they mommy or they daddy. They ain't even original from me. It's like, how are you riding me harder than the people that are originally from here? That ancestors are from here. Crazy. Hispanic co-workers could literally get away with murder. So that was lame. But the thing that I really didn't like about her was that she was such a gaslighter, bro. She would dead oh, yell at me about things like vain, forehead vein yelling. The day would end, I'd go to work the next day and she'd act like nothing happened. And that's like something that you could ignore, but she would even take it a step further. If she could tell that I was still upset about her with what she said the day before, she'd be like, oh, you don't like me. I hate you. She'd say, yo, yo, you know I like you. You're a great employee. And then yell at me again. And you think, damn, yo, yo, you get yelled at a lot. You got to be doing something wrong. No. Bro, there was this one time I was working the register and, and this lady came into my 15, 15 items, items or less. less register with a cart that did not have 15, 15 items, items or less. less. But you know, me being the stand-up guy that I am, I decided, ah, all right, I'll scan her items. So I look at her. Good evening, ma'am. How's it going? Nothing. All right. So I get to scanning, and now since this register is made for 15, 15 items, items or, less, or less, it only had one bagging station, as opposed to the two that all the other ones have. And this lazy ass, fat ass, ugly ass, I said, hey, yo, never mind. I ain't even got to do all that. But this lady is not helping me bag at all. And I had to scan all of her stuff and then bag. But it was taking a little while because I had to do one bag at a time. And she is not hiding the fact that she is waiting impatiently. But like, what does she want me to do? She also had this fat stack of like steaks that she wanted me to bag individually so they're not all bagged together so i'm doing that and it's taking me a while but eventually she goes and ends up helping me bag and i swear to you when she did that i was about to add her to the list of things that was going in the bag that day but we finish bagging and i give her a receipt and she goes on her way out the door and i continue my day and then i hear bing boom yo yo 
to the manager's office. Yo, yo, to the manager's office. Another manager comes in, shuts off my register, and I head to the manager's office. And I'm just making my way down that hallway, and I could just feel the air get colder and colder as I made my way towards La Rosa's door. I look at her desk, and I just see nothing but malice bitterness and rage like genuinely bro i felt like how pito fell staring at gone knowing they was about to get their shit right i walk in close the door yo yo what is wrong with you what what do you mean do i need to repeat myself what is wrong with you hey that's a shitty ending oh damn okay well i guess he really wants us to stay for the next episode but that's what's up. It's good to be reacting to some of Yo-Yo um, shit again. But if you guys are new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know which one I'm to react to again. And I'm out. Peace.